Hi, it's Bob Nagan, and in this episode, we're going to explore how to get ready for the post-pandemic future. end is in sight. The end is not near, depending on what you consider near, but the end is in sight. The vaccine has been created. The vaccines are being distributed. The end is in sight. How long it's going to be, I don't know. But here's something that I feel totally confident saying that for most, not all, but for most independent brick and mortar retailers, when this pandemic ends, when people feel comfortable going out into stores again, that the sales are going to explode, that there are going to be more opportunities for you as an independent brick and mortar retailer than you've ever had before. That the things you have learned, the skills you have picked up, the technologies that you have adapted during this pandemic, you're going to be able to pull forward into this post-pandemic world and compete with everybody and anybody. Yes, Amazon offers convenience. Yes, there are all sort of online brands, but people are going to crave the kind of experience that they can get in your store. They've learned how to appreciate appreciate what you as a local business brings to your community. And all of this adds up. Assuming that you're a good merchant, that you are a retail pro, assuming that when this pandemic ends, you will have an opportunity in front of you like you've never had before. So the question is, how do you get ready for it? And that's what this episode is all about. The first thing that I really want to encourage you to recognize is that you have to be, fresh might not be the right word, but you have to have the energy when the time comes. And what I'm encouraging you to think about is letting go of the need to achieve right now. You're an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. As entrepreneurs, we drive ourselves. We are always looking for the next challenge. We're looking to, you know, beat last year's numbers. We're looking to be the best that we can be. And maybe now is the time to let go of some of that drive. Uh, you know, there's another episode of Real Retail TV called, um, what is it called? It's called A Contrarian uh, Look at Survival Mode. And in that episode, I talked about the fact that right now, with the uncertainty that still exists, even though the end is in sight, there still is incredible uncertainty and the stress that comes from that. The uh, stress that comes from educating your children at home, perhaps, or taking care of loved ones who might be compromised. There's still an enormous amount of uncertainty that creates naturally, you know, I mean, it can't help but create stress that, you know, that, that takes its toll on you. So I'm asking you for your business to let go of some of that drive and proactively keep your energy in reserve so that when the pandemic does come, you are prepared to take advantage of it. If you are pushing yourself too hard right now and you burn yourself out over the next three months, six months, whatever it's going to be, you're not doing yourself or your business a favor. You want to not worry about being the best that you can be. You want to worry about 
maintaining, proactively maintaining your energy, keeping your business alive. <laughs> you can't neglect it so much that you go broke, but keep your business alive first, survive, but then also maintain your sanity, maintain your balance, keep your energy. So when it's time, you have the energy to go out and take advantage of the opportunity. So I'd encourage you to watch that episode. Think about letting go a little bit so that you maintain for the opportunity that comes. The second thing that I'm going to encourage you to do is to take stock of your skills, to take stock of your processes, to take stock of the structure of your business and shore up your weaknesses. Because when you get business, business, when you get really busy, like you will become busy when this thing is over, your weaknesses become exposed. So ask yourself, just sit back, you know, uh, pour yourself a glass of wine, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and ask yourself, what do I need to do? What skills do I need to have? What programs do I need to create so that when it's here, I'm ready for it? For some of you, it means that you need to call Management One and get some professional planning in place. For some of you, it means that you need to dig into your retail mastery system and build a training program so that you can create a great culture. For some of you, it means uh, investing in the Retail Sales Academy and getting your team really up to speed so that you can take advantage of all that in-store traffic. For some of you, it means that you need to, you know, uh, build your uh, standard, standard operating procedures plan. For some of you, it's building a marketing plan. I don't know where the weaknesses are in your business, but I'm asking you to really take a good hard look at it and then become proactive about shoring up those weaknesses. Because again, you don't, when it comes is when those weaknesses will be exposed. Now I know you might be saying, Bob, I'm hearing two things. I'm hearing one, on the one hand, I'm hearing relax. On the other hand, I'm hearing get to work. So I want to introduce you to another important concept. It's this, uh, this idea of uh, go fast, but don't be in a hurry. So when I ask you to consider, maybe I'll just use an example. Let's say the thing that you decide to do to really make your business, you know, optimally prepared for the future that's coming is you need to create a training program. You don't need to push on it. You just need to work on it. Go fast. Being in a hurry takes energy. It creates uncertainty. Just recognizing what needs to be done, building a plan and working on it is the way to move forward on something. Go fast, but don't be in a hurry is one of the things that, one of the productivity tips, tricks that I have found has made an enormous difference in my business and in my life. So, you know, think about what you have to do and start on it, move on it, go fast, but don't be in a hurry. Don't stress out about it. So I, uh, I'm, I'm confident, that's why I'm making this episode. I'm confident that if you do those two things, you get really proactive about maintaining your sanity. Just stay in that survival mode. Stay in business, maintain your sanity, make sure that when it comes, you're ready for it, and understand where your weaknesses are and start to shore them up. So if you do those two things, you will be prepared for the post-pandemic future. I know, it's kind of broad, it's kind of general, but there's truth in what I'm saying. All right, I'm Bob Nagan. If you, uh, I always love your comments. If you have anything that you want to add or anything that you want to say, please put them in the comments down below and we'll see you next week.